most people, um, I haven't got endless amounts of money to throw at this hobby. Um, so one of the things that I'm always trying to do is to find ways of getting the job done effectively um, with the right results uh, without going out and spending a load of money. So one of the things hopefully that I get across in my videos, um, especially when I'm showing the way that I've done things, is that um, it's not always necessary to go out and buy brand new. Um, it's not also always necessary to go out and buy. Sometimes you can actually go out and get the bits and just create. And that's all part of the hobby as far as I see it. So, um, so yeah, I've, I've bought myself a new camcorder. Uh, hopefully you can see the, uh, the quality difference. Uh, I've also got, got some, some better lighting in here. But again, I haven't invested in uh, top of the range. So the camcorder that I bought that I'm using at the moment is a Panasonic. It's um, this one. It's called the Panasonic um, HCV380. Um, so yeah, a couple of hundred quid from Curry's. Um, other shops have got them as well, obviously. So that's that's what I'm using to record this. Um, what else? The the uh, the lighting in here again. You know, I this room is only probably three meters by three meters, so having studio lighting in here would just be overkill as well. So one of the things that I've done is I bought um, a bulb to stick in my ceiling fan, and um, it's it's called a daylight bulb. So the um, the color of the light it is supposed to simulate daylight. So therefore, even if it was dark outside, hopefully this is coming across really nice and clear. And also, um, I bought another daylight bulb, and again, this is exactly what I'm saying about just going out and um, and just making making the best out of what you can afford. So, for example, here's a, here's another daylight bulb, um, and this is just on the end of a, a you know a lead. So, literally, if I need to add some some more lighting in here, um, maybe accent lighting coming in from the left or the right or whatever. Um, uh, wouldn't you just know it? It's always the way. Hold on two secs. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry about that. Um, where was I? Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, another another bulb. Um, but again, you don't need to spend a fortune on this. To a large extent, this me doing these videos is me having fun and helping you at the end of the day. So I don't need to spend a rook of money on high-end studio equipment. Um, to get the point across and hopefully to make decent quality um, enjoyable educational video so there you go um, so I've got a video coming up now um, have a look at this uh, this is another way that I found to achieve a goal and not spend a fortune thanks for watching so I wanted a portable um, lightweight rotator that was just suitable for um, just rotating my nine element tonner for when I go away uh, camping or uh, in, the, in the caravan. So um, this is what I got. Now I'm not sure if they're available here in the UK because I bought mine when I was in the States. It was only around about $100. Um, it is 110 so I did have to buy a little converter um, which converts from uh, 12 volts to 110 so again perfect for working portable so this is the control unit it's quite small uh, it displays the um, direction that it's pointing in in degrees and uh, you can either just um, use the control to say up and down or rather left and right um, or alternatively you can type in the actual um, direction that you want it to point to say 95 degrees and then it'll automatically rotate it until it gets to that point and then stop okay there you have it um, hopefully you enjoyed that short video um, hopefully it's been useful I've enjoyed making it thank you very much for your time and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.